Hello guys, welcome back to the Zane Investing. Why am seeking and will likely rally 100% or more in the following week, or at the very least within the next two weeks? This is exactly what we're going to discuss in this video since, statistically and historically speaking, AMC has rallied to the same level every time this has occurred in 2022. Perhaps this time will be larger, or perhaps it will be smaller. On average, however, you're looking at a 100% increase, which may result in substantial dollar halos for AMC investors. Let's now watch this video. The only request I have is that you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and post your feedback, questions, or concerns in the section below. Now, let's get down to business. Priorities come first. If we examine the Vortex data, we may estimate the live short interest to be 20.3%. The most recent report we received indicated a short interest rate of approximately 21.64%. But that was on November 15th. Clearly, since then, we have made considerable progress. Therefore, it may or may not be realistic to believe that short interest decreased by approximately 1%. There have been days where it appears that little shorts have covered positions. And fundamentally speaking, the stock appears to be in a better position going forward than it has been in a very long time. And there is a significant cause to cover some of those short positions. Clearly, they have not covered the majority of them, but they have covered a small portion of them. It is feasible, and less than 5% of all shorts have covered their short bets. To put it in statistical terms for you, gentlemen, now, if we examine the cost to borrow figures, this has been one of the more intriguing aspects of AMC stock to track recently. In addition, as the stock price increased and reached its temporary peak, the cost of borrowing rose to almost 100% at that point. The entire concept of this video, why AMC is likely to rally 100% from here, is that we are currently sitting at a big level that we will discuss in this video. The cost of borrowing has been consistently over 40%, currently sitting at approximately 44% for the live figures, i.e. the shares that are actually being given out. 44% is pretty damn fantastic. Cost of borrowing might reach a maximum of 64.17% and average around 55%. Consequently, the situation appears to be quite favorable. In addition, monthly payouts are the norm for the majority of short positions with variable interest rates, whose interest rates are increasing. It can be annual, but normally, when they are paying out on those monthly and your payments climb by 100%, any evidence of stock strength helps to squeeze out shorts. Indeed, this is what we have observed. Couple this with the fact that AMC mid to long term fundamentals are currently looking much stronger. Essentially, because more movies will be released in theaters, with Amazon investing $1 billion per year to produce 10 to 12 theatrical releases, meaning they will only be available for a limited time. All of this fundamentally benefits AMC and raises the question should I cover a short position? It makes answering that question rather simpler. If you think, hey, there are likely not many negative catalysts on the near-term horizon, you are likely correct. Either I will be forced to maintain this short position for an extended period of time while paying exorbitant cost to borrow rates, or I will be pressured out of my position. The former does not appear to be very enticing, but the latter presumably is an improving core base. If the fundamentals were worsening, the scenario would be very different and you could even attempt to calculate the probability of how high AMC may go based on this component. We have not been in such a fundamentally good position for this stock since the last time these 100% rallies occurred after breaching above this technical indicator. In light of this information, it is possible to conclude that AMC could rally beyond 100%. I'm attempting to be somewhat more conservative here by relying solely on the numbers that have already occurred many times in 2022. Moreover. This technical indicator is probable. This is the 50-day moving average, which is not a surprise to many of you, and we have seen this 100 times. In 2022, said rally occurred twice after a breach of the 50-day moving average. In reality, both of these substantial price increases were precipitated by a breach of the 50-day moving average. And if we look at the actual percentage moves that we did observe back then, and I'm calculating just from the break of the 50-day moving average, not the recovery from the lows, but just from the break. We see a 100% rally. Clearly, this occurred in March of 2022. In August, the 50-day moving average was broken, 
and it has returned to its original position. From the beginning of the 50-day period to the high, you rallied 112.5%. Consequently, this breach of the 50-day moving average has subsequently occurred. Sometimes it happens quickly, and sometimes it takes a bit, as we saw in March when you broke the 50-day moving average and then promptly rose 100% in the next week. Back in August, you surpassed the 50-day mark. I suppose it was almost 40%. Let's proceed and, and observe. Indeed, over 40%. I'm good, man. Exactly. A 40% decline from the 50-day moving average break occurred. Thus, you had only a 7% lead at that point. The subsequent rally reaches its peaks at approximately 112% of the initial break. The date of the initial split, however, was July 7th. The peak was not actually observed until August 8th. So, approximately one month after the actual break, the 50-day we held, we witnessed a massive rally. Now, based on what I'm observing, it appears like if you split the averages here, it will likely be approximately two weeks, or nearly within that time frame. As can be seen, we have been above the 50-day moving average for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 trading days already. Therefore, if you're referring to 14 business days, it would theoretically be less than that. Correct, because we are not available to trade the markets 7 days a week. This week, you would anticipate that 100% move to take place. And this type of statistical likelihood exists within my thinking. And this is what I'm trying to convey to you. Not that this is a guarantee, but that statistically, there's a better probability than not. Then we would be able to rally approximately 100% of our forces. And that's why I prefer to discuss the fundamental picture earlier in this video. So you can grasp the notion and attitude of hedge funds and institutions with these short positions because they are not shorting the stock just because they don't like it. Yes, it's possible that they dislike the stock, but they want to make money. When there are a large number of calls sitting on the option chain or a large number of puts in general, there's a significant amount of pre-hedging occurring. If there isn't much option activity, then if there is an organic move to the upside, there will be what we'll call organic hedging to the upside, and that can assist propel you guys to the upside. This concludes the majority of this video. Last week, volume was really low. Therefore, I'm hoping for activity to return to the stock. And by low volume, I mean that on Friday, the first half of the day, AMC experienced its lowest volume in probably a year. You would have to return and examine each individual candle. I cannot recall a time when AMC had 8.3 million shares outstanding or daily volume of 8.3 million. Typically, it does not occur in this manner. Therefore, please leave your comments, questions, opinions, and worries in the space below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This action may help you earn a little bit more money. Keep people informed about AMC and its remaining potential. Man, that concludes it. Enjoy the remainder of the day, and I shall see you around the neck.